say it's vaguely experimental indie rock. That's that's the, the terminology that I use. That's pretty good. I'd like to say um motivational rock. You know, like we write songs like the Pokemon theme song, but um, <laughs> we don't. That's not true. So yeah. yeah. Sometimes we uh, bring in songs. Other times we just start playing a riff and a lot of the time when we play a riff it turns into a post-rock song mm -hmm. um, but when we bring in a song often we'll throw in a post-rock element in there somewhere but most Whatever of the that is. Is song structure mm -hmm. yeah yeah I think we we veer between twinkly and atmospheric and muscular and chugging am I muscular? yeah okay, <laughs> to a Danish documentary from 1923 called Haxan. It's about the history of witchcraft. Um, we, we've uh, done a few uh, shows in the past where we've played um, soundtracks, uh, written and uh, performed new soundtracks to established films. And uh, we decided this time around to go with uh, something that was public domain, so we didn't have copyright issues. So. Yeah. Yeah. Okay, so it's a free film. You can't sue us for playing. <laughs> yeah, that's, <laughs> that's exactly what I'm skating around here. Yeah. Yeah. Um, but it's an awesome film. The originals, amazing visuals were spectacular. Um, um, and so we sort of arranged it in a way that we can play our songs and improvise little segues to this to the film really. And And we sucked. Uh, pretty much. We had mutual friends and we just used to play at each other's houses, I guess. Yep. For a yeah. long time. And then the organ died, the bongo we didn't like anymore, and the acoustics went away. And then Noah joined the band. Um, and that was about five years ago. Mm. Yeah. yeah. And then we got loud. I think because um, we had a bit of a hiatus and, uh, and when we started up again, um, I think we started gigging a little too soon and um, we, we got a couple of new tracks but we didn't have enough time to sort of work on lots of new material. So we're going to take a little bit of a break from gigging and, and write some more stuff uh, and just sort of, you know, hide ourselves away in our cabin and, and then emerge Phoenix-like in several months' time with a brand new sound.
goals. <laughs> I think we still don't know what we can do. Um, I think we've still got a lot left in us, but we don't know exactly what that is yet. Mm. But I figure that the four of us in particular have a lot of, potentially a lot of time to work it out. So that's the exciting part, I think, that we, you know, we might still have a few years to, to come up with, you know, more ideas and, yeah, more output, basically, which is exciting. I think every band just wants to keep being better than they have been. And I think that's, you know, part of our, the, the push for us, you know, so we just want to get better at what we do. Or just be different to what we do. Yeah, for sure. Yeah. At the moment you get complacent about what you do, I think is, you know, um, that's, arguably when you should reconsider it. And I, I hope that we never get complacent. And that we keep, you know, pushing ourselves to just be rad. <laughs> Thank you.